Our question reads, a box of cereal has an average weight of 20 ounces with a standard deviation of 2 ounces. All kinds of different questions can start this way. Let's see what happens next. It says all boxes in the bottom 35% of weights cannot be sold. What is the minimum weight of a box that can be sold? Either way, it's kind of the same cutoff. But what we want to focus on is it asks for a minimum weight. It doesn't ask for the probability of some box of cereal being something. So that kind of tells me two things. If I'm asked for a weight of cereal, first of all, I know I'm going to use the table backwards because I don't want to find probability in the middle. I want to start from that. And then number two, it doesn't ask me what a z-score is. That's what the table gives me when I work backwards. It asks me a weight of cereal. So I'm going to get some answer like, I don't know, 12 ounces, 10 ounces, but I'm going to have to use my data conversion formula. So I'm focused on the bottom 35%, and so I like to draw the picture, but remember, you don't have to. So I've got my bell-shaped curve centered over 20 because that's the average number of ounces. I want some number that's going to be to the left of that since I want the bottom 35% and I know 50% would have been in the middle. I've got to be to the left of the middle. But what is this weight of cereal that cuts off the bottom 35%? And since the bottom 35% is going to give me area to the left, remember I want to go inside the middle of the table and look for 0.3500 because that's what 35% looks like as a decimal. So if you remember, I bounce all around the table. Now I know I'm on the negative table because even though the number I'm going to get is going to be a positive weight, because it's on the left half of the curve, it's going to have a negative z-score. So I bounce all around, too big, too small, too big, too small, and then in row negative 0 0.3, I find two numbers that are going to work, that are close. I find 0.3520, which is too big, and 3483, which is too small. So that means the number I wanted would be in between those. The first number is 20 away. The next number is 17 away. I'm just subtracting the two table numbers from the 0.35, and I'm not worrying about the signs, positive or negative. But 0.17 is closer to 0.35, so I want to use the z-score that came from that value. So I'm going to use z equals negative 0.39. And now I need to convert that to data, which will be serial box weight for us. And I'm using the formula x equals mu plus z times sigma, or the average plus the standard deviations times the number of standard deviations away. So using the information I have, x equals 20, because I was told that the average weight, whoops, that didn't show up, the average weight is 20, plus the z-score I just found, and then don't forget we were told that the standard deviation is 2 ounces. So I've plugged in each value that I was given or I found, cleaned up the math and got 19.22, so I'm ready to come over here to my answer box and answer what is the minimum weight of a box that can be sold, and the answer is 19.22 ounces. That gives me the cutoff from the bottom 35%, which cannot be sold. Now, technically, if it's 19.22 ounces, are we selling it or are we not? Is that right on the 35? But eh, don't worry about it.